Hi guys, this is your Psychic Intuitive Tarot Reader Enigma Inc. Welcome back once again. So from now onwards, we are going to do, starting from Aries for the month of June 2020, bonus readings. Let's see what's going to happen in love, career, whatever that comes up in the class. See that we always say as tarot readers that this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And we've also put a disclaimer for you all too. So that you know that this is for entertainment purposes. And use your own logic before making your life decisions. Because we do, do, don't want you to suffer. And uh, tarot readings are away from uh, where you can seek that sense of motivation you are lacking or you are trying to find okay so this is one easy tool or easy way to find the motivation because you know when this is a there is this uh, law of attraction i hope you all know about law of attraction what law of attraction means is to have positive approach towards life think positive okay think that you already have those things and you definitely can manifest that there is a chance only if it is meant to be manifested in your life only if it's good for you that will be manifested if it's not good for you you can leave it and we are mature we are good enough and we know that what things we need to pick and what things we don't need to pick so why i'm picking up this matter before starting a general reading on this is because i seen i've seen some lady posting on my viewers commenting me under their comments that uh, please come on my page please come on my channel and she might have done to other tarot readers as well and when i went to her page i saw that she has been promoting her own uh, way of doing tarot so what is the guarantee that her personal readings are accurate no guarantee but she's telling all the people that the general readings are not real they are fake they give false hope no they don't they actually make you they give you the motivation the positivity that is lacking in your life that you need from your surroundings but you're not able to have it so this is one easy way and free way and this is how you can connect with the reader this is how you can find out which reader connects with your energy much more easily and so that you can go further you know for personal readings and yes definitely personal readings are much more accurate at least in my case i have seen 99 people you know who have uh, uh, said that everything that you said was true but I still don't call myself God or I still don't say that I'm very accurate I still always say that follow your own logic because we are being practical and at the same time we are doing this for positivity and motivation okay so we have those healing tendencies and the readers who you know who are doing their own work we are not uh, interfering in other readers videos or other readers the way they read okay everybody has their own style we don't know how they treat you in personal readings or how accurate they are in personal readings so we cannot comment on that and the way they do readings because everybody has some sort of uh, a healing tendency that is why they were called to do this and me myself being 100% honest it has really helped me the tarot has really helped me when I started doing this and uh, for myself so I started it for myself let me tell you that I used to I was confused about certain things that where which direction should I go which direction should I not go and uh, I did a reading for myself and I wrote it down on a notebook and uh, after manifesting certain things i opened the notebook just for fun and i saw that each and everything the month and the duration matched with what i was you know going through so yes it does help you it the main thing that tarot helps you is that it makes you focused in life you know it makes you uh, come into a meditated position even when you're not meditating so this is how tarot helps so it's not bad. Tarot readings are not bad. Yes, there are some tarot readers who sugarcoat. So I don't sugarcoat, okay? 
and I also do not demean, I don't want to demean any terror reader because I really respect each and every terror reader's work. So all those people who are trying to, you know, insult other terror reader and asking you to come to their page and brainwashing you with their negative videos and negative content is a first sign of being a non-spiritual person. So don't follow such people. Follow those people who believe in healthy competition who believe in spreading positivity and no hate okay no matter what you're doing it doesn't matter you have to be you know having a healthy approach you know in competing is okay all right so that's what that's the message i wanted to spread and before and also before starting this reading i want you all to know that please use your gut feeling in choosing your tarot reader okay and if someone asks you that no this is not good i am good and you come to me no choose your gut feeling which one do you find more genuine go towards them okay so no hate no comparisons to each his or her own okay so let's begin with the aries i wanted to do aries first because aries last time has been waiting from a long time so we'll do this in reverse orders okay this time from aries to pisces also because i've conducted this poll and the poll most of the people wanted aries first so we'll begin with english and then hindi and then taurus and so on aries was coming up please bonus june 2020 this is a general reading take what resonates leave what doesn't for more accuracy you can choose uh, the options given in the description box below and what else nothing oh yeah you can also uh, follow me on instagram for regular updates regarding tarot and life you know life quotes motivation quotes all those things and yeah, I also do a mini pick a card reading on TikTok, which is very spiritual and motivating. So do follow me there also. All right, please, Aries, no more talking. Aries, your time is up. Your time is good. I think you feel more, much more meditated, relaxed, stable in your own calm state. Some of you might be single over here right now. Okay, some of you might be taking slow approach in business or love. Very slow approach. Thinking before making any serious decision. Alright, so you are basically going towards wish fulfillment. Some of you might be having goals in career. Some of you might be having goals in love. So whatever it is, you're going to have your wishes come true. But it's going to take time slowly and steadily. It's going to come into fruition. So finally, you're going to come into fruition. I feel that you like someone. Yes, there is a person who likes you or you like someone, okay? This could be a Leo that you're dealing with or a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. There is a liking between you guys. Maybe you are this person's wish fulfillment or this person is your wish fulfillment. Basically, I feel that both of you wish fulfillment. One of you has a pet over here, okay, with this. And I feel that uh, if you're a male watching this, uh, you like this person and they can tame you. You feel that they are strong, they're powerful, they're independent and you keep thinking about this person. If you're a female energy watching this, then uh, the male energy is crazily thinking over you, okay? They, they want to have you, but they're taking it very, very slow. They have a lot of passion towards you, okay? A lot of love, a lot of desire. Right now, there's just passion and desire, you know, like... You're like they're, uh, they're like, oh my God, I wish I had her, okay? And if, if you're a guy, then you think of someone like that. So you de could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with an uh, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, okay, Aquarius also. So I feel that there is a lot of, uh, you know, I feel that with this infinity uh, sign of above, I feel that you have had lot of in and out thing with this person like you you guys come back together and then you guys break up then come back then break up and it's slow coming back then breaking up then slowly coming back then breaking up maybe the that kind of a connection some of you might be having with your person okay there was a lot of passion between you guys aries please Okay, I'm going to take this back and I'm going to keep it. So I feel that maybe a Scorpio person ended this, okay, or you ended this with this Scorpio person. 
I don't know. I feel that the energy was positive from both the sides. But this somehow ended for some reason or the other. No negativity, no toxicity over here from that person or you, your side. All right. So I feel that. Uh, okay. So. I feel that this person wants to talk to you. Okay, you ended this and this person wants to come back and talk to you and in a much more stable way. And if you're a male energy, then uh, you might have uh, gone through a breakup with some Scorpio or Leo or another sign could be any sign. And uh, you feel like still talk, you still feel like talking to them. Okay, if you're a female, then you, you will get a communication or your person wants to communicate with you. Okay. Yes, they feel a lot of love with you. I feel that they feel backstabbed by you. Or they feel that you left them out in the cold. Okay. It could be a vice versa energy since this is a general reading. So, but this person still misses you this person still thinks about you in their thoughts okay or it could be you that you still think about this person in your thoughts but you know what i want i don't want to sugarcoat this i want to be clear and blunt okay for some of you it could be a message for some of you that this person ended this with you and because of the end of the deck that says three of swords i feel that there is a third party situation over here this person you had immense attraction for but for some reason this person did have feelings for you but this person had to leave they had to leave they couldn't do anything about it they had to leave for a stable connection because with you, the connection was much more passionate than much more stability. So this person is heading towards a new person who can, uh, you know, commit to them. This is for some of you, okay? Especially if you're a male watching this. So this could be a, an answer for you that this person might have moved towards another commitment, a stability, marriage, something like that. Because there was a lot of passion between you guys, but no marriage happening, okay? So what else do I get? Okay, let's keep it here. So conclusions are within reach. Some secrets will come out in June. Maybe you want to know something about this person. Where did they go or what are they doing? They might come out and they might talk to you. They might respond to you. But nothing is clear yet. They might come back. Okay. Nothing is clear yet that it's over. Okay. But it says that the situation is not going to be a long term so you need to cut this off okay there is no future with this person for most of you for most of you okay this is general reading so you need to release them release them because the cards are telling me because the situation is not going to set and you need to focus on your work okay and your friends are there for you to help you in your life in your way some of you could be over here dealing with animals some of you over here take care of animals or this person who you're dealing with is the one that take care of animals so yes so i feel that you are going to focus much on some of you might be married some of you might be committed to someone else and you might be focusing on your commitment your marriage your life partner stability money finances making friends and spending quality time with your friends okay what else do i get for my aliens aries family protected so yes so i feel that june will be a time where you'll spend most of the time with your family yes you might travel for work since the lockdown has opened so i feel that you're going to travel for work or you might do some work at home work from home but uh, your office is somewhere far away from your current place you must you might be doing something that's related to airlines immigration global services okay so you're basically having a great time happy energy okay angel wings and you know working from home or you're actually traveling all right so but you're in a happy energy spending a lot of time with your family and fun time yes investing much in your family over other things okay so you will be protected okay god is protecting you this is a message that god wants to give you that don't worry god 
has something better for you you're being protected and also i feel that after ending the situation with someone that left you are going to head towards stable connection or stability in your personal life it can be with your current family or someone new okay and yes feeling complete basically okay progress not perfection don't try to perfect things the way you want them to be just keep on moving things are going to get perfect on its own okay let's choose the cards that i have made this is the card these are some cards that i used to make before so i thought i'd pull these healer some of you are healer so there's going to be a new beginning so okay fine so i feel that over here, uh, in June 2020, you're going to heal yourself. With that Scorpio card, I feel that you're going to heal yourself. You're going to bring positivity into, into your life. Positive changes are coming. You're going to heal yourself, basically. And you're going to start afresh with someone new, I feel that. What else do I get? Aries, please. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Yes, you're going to have great time with your friends, okay? And on T that too. Hard work ahead. So a lot of work from home happening or traveling happening at work. You're going to work a lot. Some dissatisfaction with life can also take place. So take care about that. Don't let that in. All right. Someone might ask you to do something that is not in your will. So be careful before making any such decision. Okay. So that's it, guys. I hope you did like it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon and share my video to your friends and family. Till then, bye-bye, guys. Take care.